Hello, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight we're working on Module 5, Lesson Number 34, and today we are again going to be subtracting mixed numbers. We're just going to use a simplified strategy, uh, a little simpler than the one we've used in the previous days. And by simpler, I mean that we're going to do it in fewer steps. Um, don't be alarmed if these steps seem a little confusing to you at first, and if you need to use the older versions of what we've been doing, the older tools in your tool belt, don't worry about it. Um, at, a, at a certain point, you'll get more uh, used to these new tools, and you'll be able to use them a little bit better. Let's take a look at a few of our problems from tonight. I think I'll do three of them. Problem number one asks us uh, simply to subtract, okay? And they give us a problem here. Let's see, 6 and 3 eighths minus 6 eighths. Now, in a previous version of this problem, we would have divided up the 6 and 3 eighths right here into something like... Um, maybe six, maybe five and three eighths, and then we would have broken off the one into eight eighths. This time we're gonna do something a little more sophisticated. Let's see, we know we don't have enough eighths yet. We need to subtract six eighths, and we don't have enough eighths here yet. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these three eighths and the next whole. So we're gonna break our six and three eighths into these numbers. We're gonna break them into five. Let's see, if we've broken into five, that means we've got a whole, plus three more eighths. So let's see, the whole is eight eighths, plus three more eighths. So I think we'll have 11 eighths. And then we've got minus six eighths, right? And so we've done that for this reason. Now we have enough eighths, right, to do our subtraction problem. So five and 11 eighths minus six eighths, we can subtract the like units, so the five is still there. We had 11 eighths, we subtracted six of those eighths, that leaves us with five more eighths and we're done. So this time we can do the subtraction in basically just two steps. In the old version, we might have broken off just 8 eighths and left this as uh, 5 and 3 eighths, but then we would have had to do the subtraction, add back in the original to get what our answer. So it would have been like a three-step problem. Today we're compressing that into just a two-step problem, where we break off the whole and the extra part of the mixed number, and the fractional part, the eighths. Then we can just do our straight, our straight subtraction and end up with our whole and our fraction, our mixed number here. Awesome. Rewatch that if you need to. In the meantime, we're going to watch another problem. Problem number two asks us to subtract the ones first. Okay, we're going to subtract the ones first for this problem. Four and three sixths minus two and five sixths. So we have to look at our, our ones unit first, right? So let's see, we had five, I'm sorry, we have four ones here minus two ones here. So that looks to me like we're going to have two ones when we're done with that. I'm going to switch to a little thinner pen. So I think we've got the same problem here. We've got basically two and three-sixths minus five-sixths, right? Because we've subtracted our ones. And now we have the same problem that we had before, right? We have a mixed number here, and we have fractions here, uh, but we don't have enough sixths, right? We want to subtract five-sixths, but we don't have enough six to do it. So we're going to do the same thing we did in the last problem. We are going to take those three sixths and add it to six more sixths from here. So we're going to take one hole over here to the right. And so here we need to represent that other hole as six. So that's six sixths plus the three that we had. So I think that's going to be nine sixths. And now we're going to subtract five sixths. And that is simply going to be one, which is the hole here, the ones unit. And 9, 6 minus 5, 6 is 4, 6. So we've come all the way back here to 1 and 4, 6. So again, this all we've added in this problem is the extra step of having extra 1s. So we combine our like units, right? 4 minus 2 gives us 2. We've got 3, 6 left right from here, minus 5, 6. And then we have to do the same decomposition where we gather up our fractional portion plus one more whole into this form, 9, 6 and we can do our straight subtraction. Awesome. One more problem. Whoa. <laughs> One more problem is solve using any strategy. Whew. 17 and 2 sixteenths minus 9 and 7 sixteenths. Oh, what a mess. Okay, well, let's see. We've got two different kinds of units here. We've got the ones units, right? And we've got the sixteenths. We've got 17 ones here minus 9 ones. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to subtract our 1's unit. So 17 minus 9 would be, let's see, 8. So that's 8 and 2 sixteenths minus 7 sixteenths. 
And darn our luck, we still don't have enough sixteenths, right? We need to subtract seven, but we only have two. So let's break up eight and two sixteenths. Let's see, so that's going to be seven. And then we have to break up that other one into sixteenths. So that would be, let's see, sixteen sixteenths would be that eighth one, plus two more. So I think that's going to be eighteen sixteenths. So we've done with a number bond, we've converted this number, this mixed number, 8 and 2 sixteenths, into this mixed number, 7 and 18 sixteenths. All right, and now we have to subtract 7 sixteenths. Well, that we can do. Now we have enough over here. We've got our 7 holes, right, 7 ones, and we've got 18 sixteenths minus 7 sixteenths, and that is, oh, I noticed I missed a number here, sorry. 18 sixteenths minus 7 sixteenths, that's 11 sixteenths. And we've used our strategy to convert this very difficult subtraction problem of mixed numbers into our answer. Awesome. Well, thank you for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.